Hello, beautiful people. In today's video, we're going to be making a really cool looking design for your Instagram story, like these designs. A quick disclaimer, I will only use a free tool called Figma, no need to have Photoshop. The difficulty level is beginner. You can download the source file from the description box. But I highly recommend watching the entire video because you will be amazed at how easy it is to make a pre-designed Instagram story design. Coming up right now. By the way, I am curious to know, what's your most favorite, TikTok or Instagram? Let me see in the comment box. For me, it's Instagram because I find it more helpful for designers. Okay, to get started, go to figma.com. From there, click Try Figma for free. You don't need to put in any credit card information, by the way. Also, you can do the whole design in your browser by going to figma.com. But I will be using the free Figma app. Once you have created your account, you have done the first step. You see the other blocks or project files because I have tons of projects done on this account. So, don't worry if you don't have any files. Click the Design Files tab, and it will open in a new tab. I am going to rename this project file something like this. Now click this grid icon in order to make the canvas for your story. But before that, I am going to look at the dimension from my templates. Choose 2160 for width and 3840 for height. It's a huge canvas, so after the compression of Instagram, the quality will not decrease dramatically. Now I am going to find out the colors for this project quickly. I will be using coolers.co for finding the color palettes. Once you find your color, you can export that as an SVG. So that it will be editable in the Figma. Drag the saved SVG color file into the Figma canvas. And as you can see, the colors are in separate layers. On top of that, another awesome thing is that if you select the fill color, the colors will automatically be placed in the document color tab. Just choose the color you want to apply, and it will be applied. Now select the template one frame, and choose linear from the drop-down menu. It allows us also to apply a gradient color. The color codes of mine can be copied. I have just used the darker tone, the light blue color. Now, drag the image of your likings into the canvas. Then click the dashed rectangle icon. It will give you four placeholders to adjust the corner radius of each corner. Give a value of 500 to the first and third placeholder. And we will get this beautiful curve look. To copy, use Ctrl C while the photo layer is selected. And press Ctrl V to paste the image. For Mac, you will choose the command key instead of control. Then click the negative icon in the fill option. It will delete the image. But when you add a stroke by clicking the plus icon under the stroke option, it will have the shape. Now choose the color of your likings. We will also add the stroke in the top image as well. This time we will be using a soft gradient color. You can lower down the opacity of the lower point of the gradient to have a subtle colors fill.
Now the fun part. Select the pen tool. And then draw some random lines. After that, follow my settings for the best result. But as always, try to play around with the settings. Now select the curve line and right click. Then select copy properties. We will be adding more curve lines here and there. But instead of doing all the things, simply select the newly created lines and then paste the properties. A quick tip. Don't add brighter colors to the lines. Use a lighter tone so that it doesn't distract you from the main subject. Now, in the Shape tool, click the drop-down arrow and choose Ellipse. Now, using a tiny stroke, create a small circle. Then apply a soft drop shadow. Don't make the drop shadow super harsh. Keep it soft and subtle. Once you have created the circle, now copy-paste the circle and place them around the canvas. Play around with the colors and their placements. Let's move to the next part. Create a rectangle where we will be placing our text. We will be adding the glass morphism look into this shape. You can copy my settings, but a tip will be, keep the shadow and stroke colors as low as possible. Then add the text.
I will add two more circles into the text box. If you want to change the photo, select the picture, go to Fill, choose the image, select the image, and hit Open. The image will change automatically. Again if you want to change the colors of the elements, select the template 01 frames, and from the selection colors, you can swap the existing colors with the new ones. At last, to export or save this design for Instagram, you need to select 3x here. Then hit the export button. But by selecting 3x, your image will be huge. That's why I recommend you to export in 1x. Because it's in less size, only use 3x if you will edit the design again and again. So that's all for today's video, I hope it was a little bit helpful, please hit the thumbs up button if it was. By the way, if you don't know, I am also active on Instagram and Twitter at Heyenstandman. I share helpful tips on design and YouTube growth. If you want to learn something new within one minute, definitely check out my Instagram. Till then, stay creative, keep creating. Peace.